Hello everyone, and welcome back for our next episode in our Dead Space playthrough. Well, we finally got the beacon on the gigantic rock. It took me a little bit to figure that out, but I'm proud of myself for actually getting all the way through that little puzzle. We've launched it and already gotten some kind of response from a ship, I guess? I don't know. I don't know exactly what shocked means. But now we're working our way up to the communication array so that we can actually communicate with this ship or anybody else that might respond to the beacon. No clue what's going on with Hammond. Did not see Nicole again in that last episode and still don't know where on the ship Kendra is or the two doctors that I think are still running around here as well. So many people we still need to find and encounter. Will we run into some more in this episode? I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. If this is your first time finding the channel, welcome. Hope you have an awesome time. And if you do have a great time, it made the world to me if you consider hitting that subscribe button. Without any further delay, let's get this communication thing working and see if we can find somebody to see face to face other than necromorphs. All right, we're back everybody. I got my next intro recorded. Ready to get back in here. I'm hoping we kind of come across somebody. Man, I tell you, every time I load back into this game, I can't get over how beautiful it is. Everything looks so good. And it's not the remake. This is from like 2008 or something like that. My goodness. Okay, that's where we went when we were doing all the asteroid stuff. So we're going this way this time. Oh. What are you? What? It's huge. Are you dead? Oh! It's not dead. Oh my gosh. He's nuts! What in the world? <laughs> no way! I got chills over my entire body from that. At first I thought it was just one really creepy, tall, lanky looking like thing. And then it's like it broke into bite-sized pieces and still tried to come bite me. Oh, I used so much ammo right there. There's got to be a more efficient way to do that. At first, I thought I could maybe save this guy. That's what I was really trying to do. That's why I kind of unloaded like I did on the... The one thing. It's like stuck to the walls. That was super creepy. My goodness. At least I think I kept from getting hit, so I'm pretty happy with that. And they gave us a nice, uh, nice little reward for that work. Ooh, I can use that. That's perfect. USG Ishimura communications array. Un oh, let's say Jake, come here. Okay, let's move you out of the way. There we go. I'm moving it all. I don't want anything blocking my path in case I. I need to run. Okay. Man, that thing was creepy looking. Okay. That's not too bad. Dear Altman, we are here. Oh, I had somebody mention to me that Altman is actually something relevant to this game. It almost looks like there's other writing on there I could maybe read if I got a close enough picture. I don't know. Whew, I don't know if that big thing was supposed to be alt man or what, but it was kind of freaky. Okay, I got one node still. Man, I need more damage. I really do. Okay, the line gun, since I am using it, keeping it, you could say, it might be worth upping the damage on that. It's gonna cost me at least three to get another one on that. And there is no more damage I can put on that one. Man, I'm happy with that right now. Kinesis I'm fine with. This I'm, I'm very happy with. Well, since I can't reach anything, Increasing the capacity on this wouldn't be too bad. 
but that doesn't get me very close to a damage. Width? I can increase the width of the beam? That's actually kind of cool. I didn't realize that was a thing. I think we're going to spend some more points on this. Uh, we are going to do the capacity. Five shots go kind of quick. As much as I would like to go straight to more damage, I can't reach more damage yet. So let's go ahead and do something that we can at least benefit from right away. I like that. Although, I hope I don't come across the room here in a second where I'm going to wish... I still had that. Oh, I can put six in there instead of five. Well, technically it is more. Gotta make sure everything's reloaded. And I'm completely out of ammo for that. That makes me sad. My favorite gun. I ain't got no bullets. Alright. Gearing it. It's like this way. Oh, it's just like hovering there. Communications log. First comms operator Bailey reporting. The ship is under attack, but requests to issue a distress call have been repeatedly denied by Captain Matthias. He won't say it, but everyone on the bridge knows why. This is an illegal operation in a prohibited system. We've all known for months, and we kept our mouths shut. Not anymore. What? Mayday! 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 This is USG Ishimura! This is... What the hell? I don't believe this. The whole comm system is offline. Now he's gone too far. Bailey out. Why was this operation illegal? Did they actually come here with the intention of finding this marker? Did they did they have some information that this was here? I wonder why it was I wonder why it was an illegal operation. I'm sure we're gonna find out, but <laughs> that's my biggest question now. That means Nicole knew that too, right? Because didn't he say like we all knew? Oh, look how long that okay. Um All right, we're going to go with this. At least it's a little faster. <laughs> a lot faster, actually. Ooh, it's body. Oh, it twitched. <gasps> I thought it was an enemy. Yeah, this is cr crazy. I cannot believe something didn't actually happen through there. Grateful, but shocked. Communications array offline. A service technician has been notified. Oh, I'm sure. That comms array is in bad shape. We need at least six working dishes for a strong enough signal. Make sure they're aligned symmetrically so there are no power gaps. Okay. Yeah. Should be real easy. It's gonna go down there. Just align them so there's no gaps. All I've gotta do. Oh, we'll just move right back across our little transport and look, there's like a photo or something inside of that. Easy peasy. Okay, well. Oh, there's stasis. I might need that, I guess. Let's go ahead and save. There we are. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty wild. That was that was a wild ride. I'm still thinking about that lo that tall, lanky creature that we came across. It's so many chills as that thing was like coming around the corner. Reminded me a little bit of like a vampire at first. <laughs> But no. Well, half expected some little bug-like things coming out of that. Hey, another power node. I like that. Oh, I don't only give me ammo for that. I want, I want ammo for my other gun. Ooh, wait, they're really. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be complaining. At least it's ammo, right? Like, credits right now wouldn't do me a whole lot of good. 
All right, Isaac. Let's see how this is gonna go. I guess I could switch to my line gun. Might be a little... No, I'm gonna stick with this. I wanna see what's gonna be out here first. Oh, look at those lighting effects right there. It's creepy. It's like some giant caterpillar shadow Entering or something. Zero gravity. Mm, I see you over there, dude. Oh! Gosh. Oh! Boom! Oh! Where'd the other one go? Oh, there it is. We'll finish you. <laughs> I used a full clip. But we got there. Oh. That is nuts. At least these guys are all like coming up now before I'm like leapfrogging my leapfrogging my way around here. Okay. So it looks like some of these are just straight up broken. Oh, we got like some growth and stuff coming out here. Okay, well, um... Oh! Oh! Not what I was going for. Take you. Whoa! Come here! Don't float away! And I'll take you. Thank you. Okay, well... Time to make the leap. Sound like R2D2 or something in here. All right, so. Oh my goodness, it's like busting through all the ceiling tiles there. Are we still gonna be able to communicate even if I do get these arrays lined up? Okay, so let's see how this works. Okay, so this is this is what I need to do is seat them like that. Okay, so I need to pull out the broken ones. I'm assuming. Uh. uh okay. You look good. Uh how do I rope there we go. They, she said six align. Oh, I need to put them in a row. Okay, I see what's going on there. So if which which one's got the two? I guess they don't have to be in good working order. Uh, because the only one I see with two is that, but that one's red up there. Oh, there, there's a third one up there. Okay. That one's broken. Ooh! Thank you. Okay, so that one and that one. Okay, so those are the two that are in, in order. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, wrong button. We're gonna pull you out. Throw you off to the side. Oh, don't want to damage one that I need. <laughs> Pull you out and stick you in. Oh, where's it at? There it is. Oh, come on. There we go. I should put three in a row, right? Where's my little display? Okay, yep. All right, I see what's going on here. Now let's fix the three on this side. It is fun when you get to kind of like leap around and stuff. I really do enjoy that. Whoop. Booyah! And let's go ahead and move you out of the way, sorry. All right, now we need to get three working ones. I see that, can I reach it from here? Oh yeah, 
All right, let's go ahead and put you at the top. That's not the top one. I got distracted by that opening right there. Is that where I came in? I think that's where I came in at. Okay, you're busted. Uh, you're working. Let's pull you out. Go ahead and put you up here. Alright. Oh yeah, it's like we're playing uh, Connect 4, but it's Connect 6. Right? There we are. And I don't know. Can I get all the way over there from here? Nope. Uh, uh. There we go. Oop. Does that work? That's six in a row. I mean, she didn't specify that it had to be like any particular six. Like any any particular row, I should say. Uh, okay, let's go here first. And then I think I can leap in there. No? Down? Nope. It is a little finicky sometimes when it comes to trying to get out of here, I feel like. Like some of these rooms, it's like you gotta walk a specific direction to get out of the zero G. Okay. Zero gravity. I hope that worked. If that didn't, I'm gonna have to really rethink about how that sub what her instructions were. Go ahead and refill my stasis. Okay. Offline! Dang it. <laughs> okay, so I wonder if they have to be like the center six or the middle, you know, the, the six in a, in a circular pattern, not a straight line. Okay. Oh, I don't need to save. I don't think there's going to be any creatures come out and get me while I'm rearranging these. All right, sorry about that, everybody. I think I I got that a little twisted up. Hopefully, it won't take too long to fix, though. But I could have swore she said something about we need six in a row. Entering zero. That's six in a row. Just saying. It is technically. Okay, one, two. Okay, let's grab you first. We'll just go with the. The closest one. Alright. Uh, jump over here. And grab you. Oh! <laughs> there for a second I was like, no, it's stuck! I have to use that one! Alright. There we go. Uh, the other ones are right there. If I jump to here... Yeah. Grab you. I'm glad that the range on that's pretty good. If I had to, like, walk all the way up on each one of these things each time, that'd probably get a little cumbersome. I'd be like, come on already. Okay, you're good. I'm gonna pull this one out. See you. And grab you. Put you in over here. Playing musical arrays. That looks like something that activated. That's it. It's working. Get back to communications and use the control panel to send our coordinates to the Valor. You got it. I'm surprised this is not where she's at. I almost feel like communications array is where she would have been hiding this whole time, but I guess not.
Is it safe? Seems to be, but man, we got a lot of vents in here. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if something comes busting out before this is over. Yo! This is USM Valor, widecasting on all frequencies to USG Ishimura in response to your SOS. We picked up your escape pod, number 47, and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. Hey! What? Isn't that the escape pod Hammond jettisoned? One of those things was on board. Oh, no! No! No, this isn't going to happen. USM Valor! Come in, Valor! Oh, no! Our signal isn't strong enough. I'm going to open the blast doors to boost the signal. Error. Blast door blockage detected. Please contact a repair technician. Shit! Isaac, there's something big on the hull of the ship, directly oh, above great. the comms array. Something organic. I don't know what it is, and I don't care. We have to get the doors open to transmit to the Valor. You should have a clear shot from ADS Cannon 48. Get to the cannon and blow it out into space. <laughs> oh, I remember when Hammond did that too. That would explain why they were responding so fast because they weren't responding necessarily to our beacon that we just launched. They were responding to the escape pod. <laughs> yeah. It's easy to say, I don't care what it is, get it taken care of when you're not the one that has to go take care of it, Kendra. <sighs> okay. They made it a gentle ride on the way over, but I don't see that happening on the way back. I'm already bracing for it. Oh, I saw something moving. It's a baby. Squish. Wow. I was way more gentle than I thought they were going to be. That is a really awesome tube. It's so cool getting to go all the way out there. Oh, I hear more squishy stuff. Slow down. Thank you for this. In fact, I should probably switch it up a bit. Since they're giving me ammo for it. Got quite a few little enemies coming out at us sporadically now, don't we? Like, not all in just one spot. They're kind of all spread out. It's a little different. So... Who all thinks that the other ship's already been overrun by these things? But it was just one of, uh... One of these things... Well, not this model, but it was just one of the normal one of these. So... Worst it could do is, like, kill everybody over there. It's not like it would become infected. Right? Because I don't think these things can actually do the infecting process to make more. Now, granted, killing everybody is not a good thing. But what I'm saying is... I don't think it's become infested with a whole bunch of more necromorphs and we're bringing a whole new crew over here, but I could be mistaken. I'm checking. Okay. Looks like this is what I got to use now because that was locked before. It was, wasn't it? Because didn't we come from that hall? Yeah, that's where we came from. This has got to be where we got to go. Whew. Sounds like I get to fire a cannon again. That was actually pretty fun to get to do that the first time. I kept wondering, though, if I had to worry about some kind of, like, overheating mechanism, but I didn't see anything. It makes me wonder if I could have fired a lot faster than I did when I was using that. A lot of times, those cannon-type mechanics have, you know, like an overheat mechanism to keep you from just firing like crazy. So I was kind of expecting one. Uh, let's do it this way. It's a freebie that way. Is that the only one? Is that a box I can break to? Oh. Oh. 
I could have swore I heard a creature. Nope. <laughs> it must have just been that door opening. I didn't mean to accidentally uh, open it, so I thought I heard a creature right next to me. <sighs> Freaked me out there for a second. Oh boy, oh my goodness. Something is moving on the other side of that. <laughs> Are we about to see more of the Leviathan? Did we actually not, like, see the actual <laughs> Leviathan? It looks like it's the same color and texture from the little cracks I'm seeing. Oh, this is going to be vile, isn't it? Okay. Oh, let's open the doors. See what we got to play with. She don't care what it is. Oh boy! Oh! Oh, it did overheat! Okay, good to know. Oh! It's like throwing stuff at me. Oh! This thing is serious! Oh, there goes one. Oh. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, there it is. Oh. That thing is crazy looking. Oh. It's all coming up out of there. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> U.S. Ambassador Kendra Daniels on the U.S.G. Ishimura, come in. Do not open the escape pod. U.S. Ambassador Kendra Daniels on the U.S.G. Ishimura, come in. Do not open the escape pod. Damn it! Respond. Oh no. Uh. Oh my goodness. Do I need to blow it up? It's headed right for us. Isaac! Isaac! Fuck out of there! Oh! Wow. Someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't. Isaac. <coughs> Isaac, are you there? Where have you been? Thank God you're alright. I've been trying to reach you. Someone's been blocking my rig signal remotely. <coughs> A crash must have interrupted the signal block. Hammond, where have you been? <coughs> Surviving. Barely. I found some med supplies and packed myself up. Listen. I'm calling abort on the mission. Fuck the CEC and fuck the chain of command. We have to get the hell out of here. I think I've located a shuttle on the crew deck. The flight log says it needs a new singularity core, but we can probably salvage one from the Valor. I can see the tail end of it sticking out from the side of the Ishimura. <laughs> I'm headed down there now to find a way inside. I'll meet you there. Come and out. Isaac, if what he says is true about the shuttle, we might have a chance of getting out of here. Head to the cargo bay and see if you can help Hammond. In his condition, he may not last long. He still doesn't have a suit on. 
he should get some kind of a suit. It's not like he couldn't find one on this giant ship somewhere. My goodness. So when that thing came floating out, is that a part of it over there? You know, it kind of came like slowly drifting up. I think I did notice three circle holes on the bottom of it. So I think that was like the top side of the Leviathan thing we caught. We were fighting earlier. I could be mistaken. You guys can let me know if that is the same thing or if that was just something totally different or not. But, but then you saw the ship start drifting this way and I was like, am I supposed to destroy that thing? <laughs> that was nuts. Whew, okay. That was very exciting. So we finally heard from Hammond. And he's like, let's get out of here. I don't care about the mission anymore, which... I feel like he should have gave up on that a long time ago. There is no saving this thing. But we still haven't found where the marker is at. I got a feeling we're going to encounter where the actual marker is at before this thing is over. Probably in some big storage unit or holding bay or something. That was nuts. I really hope we don't come across any more of them tall, lanky things. So that thing was... Although the, the force gun might be better for that because it would be like hitting all the parts of it at one time. It might be a better way to go on those, but... Oh, it gave me the chills. Okay. I hear the music kicking on. Oh, yeah, it's on the other side. You get close enough with this thing and it does it in one shot. Earlier it was just kind of pushing them around. I think I was too far away. Well, the music's telling me something's going on here. Anything? Gosh. Is this where I need to go? Okay. I assumed it was! But, just wanted to double check. Uh, I guess we go to level two. Oh, man. Isaac just goes from one project to the next. Even when he fixes something, there's another piece connected to it that's broke. I don't recognize that sound. Um, switching. Oh no, it is another one of you. Uh. You guys are so creepy! Hitting you all at once. Hey, that worked out really well. Okay. This for tearing them apart. And then that for blasting the final thing. I don't feel like that's what was making that moaning noise, was it? Oh, those things are so creepy. My goodness. Look at the planet down there. Uh, I kind of want to see what's down here. Can I even go down there? Or is it like all closed off? Oh, it's not turned on. Okay, so I can't go that way. I guess that makes me feel a little better. Yeah, let's go ahead and save. Because you never know. I still think something else is what was making that loud moaning sound. Gosh. Things are getting bigger. Even the small things are getting bigger. Okay, I don't see anything. I think it's safe to hit the store. I hope it is. Man, that one that was waiting for me when I got out of the store, I think it was in the last episode. <laughs> Freaked me out. 
That was so mean. Alright, so first, sell you. We're gonna sell you. We're gonna move one of you. How many is that put over here? Yeah, three's fine. The line, gun, uh, the line racks are working good. I'm gonna keep those. Pulse rounds, we will move you. Mm hmm. -hmm. I'm gonna move this as well. I don't want an empty slot holding one bullet, even though I'm sure I'll use that one bullet fairly quickly. I don't want to use it just to waste it. Do I have any plasma energy over here? I don't think I have any more plasma energy over here. Nope. Okay. Let's buy some of these. Oh, I've got three nodes at the moment. Oh, that is awesome. And I was just about to buy a couple more. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be one more level of suit. And I'd kind of like to have money for that when it arrives. But I feel like we just got level four here recently, so we might still have some time. So let's go and buy two more nodes. We're gonna have some fun. Another one of those. There we go. Because if I remember right, there was a, uh, I'll refill this. I think there was an upgrade thing right on the other side, like through the other door over here. Look how brave I am just running. Oh, we got something here. Why is the music kicking on? I just, I just want to use my nodes. Okay. We made it. Yes, please. I would like to. Okay. We can do some upgrades now. Mm. Let's go with... Where are we at here? I think I would like to get another damage on here. Wait, let's make our plan before we spend them. Uh, force gun... I don't think I'm going to worry about making more upgrades to that one just yet. Pulse rifle. I am using it way more than I'd like to, just because they keep giving me ammo for it. Okay. On my rig, I'd be at one, two, three to get another HP. These two I'm not too worried about. This, my damage is all the way up. I'm not worried about the other two things. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get... One, two, increase the damage on that, and then the pulse rifle, we would need three, yeah, and this increases the capacity, which might be nice too. There we go. I like that. I feel like both of those are weapons that I'm using, and they, they're giving me so much ammo for the pulse rifle. That I think uh, beefing that bad boy up is going to be worth it. Look at that. I can hold 100 in the chamber now. This would be my preferred weapon. But I keep, because it's my preferred weapon, I keep running out of ammo. All right. Uh, there wasn't a safe game over there, I don't think. Let's go back and hit this real quick. Just in case something happens, I don't want to have to... Ooh. Man, it sure sounds like there's something out there, right? But I don't have to redo all that. There we are. Okay. Let's go see what creepy thing's gonna happen now. I, uh, yep, yeah, okay. That's where I thought I needed to go. So we're we gonna get over there and help Hammond. He's like, I see part of it sticking out of the Ishimura. It's like, dude, you ain't got a suit on. If it ain't airtight, you're in trouble, dude. Oh, it's a big boy. Slow down. Boom. You know, part of me wondered if I kill that, like, by chopping off the arms, 
Do the little guys come out still? I think maybe not. I wonder if I shouldn't squish it. I'm going to try to leave it. I think that worked. I've been curious about that for a little while, but I hadn't tested that theory. Okay, is that the end for this mission? Nice! Mission accomplished. Dead on arrival? <sighs> Not sure what I think of, uh, of that title. Search and rescue is much more encouraging. Isaac! Oh. Good, you made it inside. Listen, I just found the munitions log for the Valor. I don't think their presence here is a coincidence. They're not on reconnaissance, and they're not on patrol. This ship is prepped for war. They're on a seek and destroy mission. Do you hear me? Isaac, I've lost him again. No signal from Hammond's rig. Find the Singularity core and get the hell out of there. I half expected a new face to interrupt on that one after Hammond got cut off. Okay. Search it, or... Uh, Search and destroy, or uh, what you say? If it's here for war, if they were so well prepared for a war, how did they get completely wiped out by a one necromorph? Did not a single person have a weapon available, even though they were prepped for war? That doesn't exactly make sense to me. Here goes Isaac using engineer tools, standing up against all of these creatures and stuff and he wasn't prepped for any kind of war they started it though Isaac gonna finish it okay uh, anything? I don't think there's a thing I need to do there I feel like we just did all of that right before ending that last chapter but I don't see a save point here oh I guess you save on the tram so it's not it's not the end of the world if I don't get to save yet. Music feels like it's building up to something. Oh, uh, mind the gravity. And they just gave us some air. We stepping outside? What is that? What are those? They look like giant glowing tennis balls. Am Entering not, zero gravity. Am I not supposed to touch those? They look like maybe a power source or something. Oh my goodness, it says right there, Valor. This thing is all busted up. Okay, well let's dive down Isaac, here. One of Valor's weapons ripped open in the crash. Those green orbs you see are highly radioactive, and the Valor's airlock has sealed itself. You're going to have to throw those into space before you can get into the ship. Throw them into space? Is there an opening somewhere? I can't. I wish I could look all the way directly up. Sometimes that makes it a little tricky to see where I'm trying to look. Uh, are one of these things open? Let's see, where's this telling me to go? Oh, I can open that door, huh? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to break these. We're doing it the easy way. That's well, nice to know I got this big oxygen thing right here I can use, because I got a feeling I'm gonna need that here in a minute. Oh, there's one on both sides, too. Will it suck him out? Uh, okay, it's not going to just suck them out. Bummer. Okay. I hear... Oh, there it is. I was like, I hear something, but I couldn't see where it was at. Whoa, you're moving quick, dude. All right, takes care of you. Where'd your friend go? 
it's so funny when those things start just flying like that. Okay, well, they gave me more ammo for this gun. Both of them did, so I'm switching. Oh, no, that's credit. Where's the other one? I could have swore there was a ammo clip. I'm assuming I can hit these as often as I need to. If these are like a limited number of times I can hit those, I'm in trouble. Ooh, come on. Die already. Okay, there's one. Oh, it's credit. Again. I mean, I like money. Okay. What I'm wondering is like, I assume I gotta be at a certain angle to get these things to go into space, right? Okay, let's see if this thing's gonna get me killed. Let's get a better angle. Nope, wrong button. Uh, control, not C. Okay, you come here. Oh, am I not close enough? Okay, um... Gun. Is this not how I got it? Okay, there we go. Whoa! Okay, hitting me is fine. Okay. That makes me feel better. Oh. Oh, dang it. He did that the same time that I... Oh, and there's another one. I just saw the darts go flying by. Thank you. Wrong button again. Dang it. It begins with a C. Okay, and launch. Radioactive material removed. Now I do wish I had increased my range capabilities. Look, I, I just can't reach up. Like if I could go a little bit further up, I could get that. But no, it's like... Isaac, why aren't, why aren't you more flexible in that big old suit, huh? All right. Still can't reach that one. Oh, come on. Now you're just being finicky. Radioactive material removed. There we go. Radioactive material removed. Okay, any new babies come out? Hmm. There we go. Radioactive material it's, removed. It's pretty awesome, actually. Uh. Okay, well, let's refill my oxygen before I go bouncing around the place trying to get up to that one. There we are. Can I? Uh, I can't reach. And jump to this. Come to me. Out. Check out that view. It's almost like I'm playing tennis. Oh, is there another one? Uh. You know what? I think I did see one that was like behind one of these little canisters or something. There. Come here. Work with me. Work with me. Oh, where's where's the Oh, I can't see the Can't get my angle right. Oh, Isaac, come on. You're still fine. I think this is the last tennis ball. We just got to get it out. Oh, come on. Oh. Okay. Where's the... There we are. I mean, I, I don't blame him for having his doubts. <laughs> Freaking out. Not like I let him suffocate once already, right? Okay, where's that last ball? Oh, being so stubborn. There we go. Still doing okay on time here. 
I'm just gonna have to walk it down part of the way here, it looks like. Boom! Radiation hazard clear. Safety lock released. Finally. I mean, you can shut the door? No? Why aren't the door shutting? Okay, well now where do I go? Uh, oh, wait a minute, the doors opened when I, I busted all these things, didn't they? I feel like it was telling me to go that way. Boom. Like over here? Oh, okay, there's the entrance. Okay, I see it. Let's hit this again. And jump. There we are. Yay! <laughs> we did it! Yeah, I got a cool little uh, decal on there. Yo! You're a little different. The stars are ours. I wonder why... I wonder why that thing was... It almost seemed like it was moving fast, like maybe it was a speedster Party or something. Are you looking for will be in the engine room at the back of the ship? I'm reading massive damage, so you may need to find an alternate route to get there. Yeah, no, I mean, they did just ram into us. I'm expecting massive damage. And if you weren't, Kendra, you were way too optimistic. Oh! Oh, come on. Is that really that close to that fire? I see ceiling stuff. Okay, do I need to somehow pull that? I guess not. It's locked though. Well, we can save. All right. My goodness. Lots of flashing lights here. It's so cool. It does feel like you're on a different ship. Like, just some designs and stuff feel different, which is pretty cool. Alright. What is this big thing? Oh, is that like an escape shuttle? I feel like... I don't want one of those little bird things on here changing all these guys. Oh, ouch. Okay. I guess I can. The infection process is doing something strange to these soldiers. They all have built in stasis units in their body armor. The infection is merging the stasis unit into their flesh or something, making them move fast. Real fast. Oh, great. Be careful. I thought he, the way he was like shaking and everything made me wonder if he was doing some sort of fast movement thing. Okay. How fast though? That's the question here at the moment. At least I got my little blaster pusher thing here. Maybe I can... Uh... Okay, so there's a lot of platforms I can move here. I don't know which way to go. I can move that one. Or I've got these. Oh, did you see it goes zipping by? Okay, so that's not going to work unless I move. Can I move this one too? Okay, I can move this one too. But then I'm kind of trapped, aren't I? I'm a little nervous about this. No, that's not the way I wanted you to go. 
I mean, I guess that works, but... That goes sideways. Okay. Where you at, Speedy? I saw you go zipping across there. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing that... Have you guys seen the advertisements for that? It's an app game, I think, where you're, like, you're trying to move all the different cars in the parking lot so like the school bus can get out or something. Anybody else getting those vibes from this? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and move you all the way out of the way. Uh, what do I, what's the point of you? I don't feel like you're serving any purpose. You can probably stay there. Let's pull you down. Ew. Oh, I thought it was a dead end there for a second. We got some loot. Okay, looks like I do need to go out that other side. Now, if I move you down... But it doesn't open up anything by moving you. I could move you... Can I push? No. Okay, well, let's see what happens if I move this. I feel like this moving this one doesn't serve any purpose. Oh, it goes that way. Can I move the one behind it? Nope, that one doesn't move. Right, let's put you back across there then. Alright, well, let's see which direction you roll. Okay, there we go. That opened up a gap. I want to see how fast he moves. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of that, Speedy? Dude, nice little football hop to the side there. I, I can appreciate that. Oh. Oh, there's two of them. Oh. <laughs> oh, he, he, he took an extra hit. Oh. Every one of them had taken three hits. He suddenly needed a fourth one. I, I was like, oh, I'm going to reload right now. That was a bad idea. Oh, I went to stomp on him. <laughs> I forgot I'm still aiming. <laughs> Sorry, Isaac. You have a moron controlling you sometimes. I do feel bad for it, but... Uh, I'm, I'm what you're stuck with here, dude. All the expert players have already been through this game multiple times. You're, you're stuck with a noob. <laughs> Just blasted Isaac in the face. Poor guy. I think there was some loot back here, right? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm so glad I have this gun for these speedster guys. I feel like it makes it a whole lot easier because I don't got to worry about if they uh, if they're already charging at me. I do uh, I do feel the uh, slow uh, getting the next bullet ready feel now where I wasn't it wasn't bothering me before. I can definitely feel like it takes a while now. Oh, I was gonna try to push him into the. Can I get him to... Ooh! Nice. Yeah, unfortunately, they're too fast. I can't line them up to try to knock them into something like that. Because by the time I get to a spot where I could, they're already on me. Any goodies over here? Okay. Oh, I did not even see that door. That's why, because there's stuff in front of it. Nuts no more! Torpedo room? Will this move those? Dang it. Isaac. 
like seeing a little bit of a skeleton inside of her face or something there. That was weird. Hmm. You come here. I'm not going out there to grab you. That seemed very suspicious to me. Okay, that's just a box. I'll loot you. Inventory full. You know what? I'm gonna use a mag pick. Med med pick? Med pack. How many do I got? Oh yeah, I'm doing real good. Let's let's go ahead and use another one. Get all the way full. Okay. Missed. There we are. It's kind of quiet right through here. Make me a little nervous. Oh, I don't like going across this bridge. Uh, that looks kind of like the face. Because the, the guy that was in the communication had like these glowing eyes. I assumed it was because of a suit. He kind of looks like what we were seeing. Isaac, I'm tracking your position, but it doesn't look like I can reach you. This damn ship was nearly shared in half. I made it to the bridge. It's a mess here. These poor bastards didn't stand a chance. I'm going to override all door locks so you can get to the engine room. I'll try and catch up with you there. Like, where could he have gotten that I couldn't? Unless he just came through a whole different hole in the ship. I feel like this has been pretty much a one-path deal here. Although, I guess we were even moving stuff out of the way. I don't think he has those capabilities. I ain't gonna get up. Not anymore! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're at that one hour, but I'm gonna go a little bit further. I am really curious to see what's gonna happen up here next. And I think I made the last episode, like, right at an hour. So this one I'm gonna make a wee bit longer. Because it's definitely the last one I'm recording this evening. Okay. Let's see what this is. Yo! Oh! No, not you. Oh, there's another one in there. Yep, I heard you. Dude, you're trying to... He doesn't even have a head. That wasn't going to work. Credit for trying, though. Oh, I'm full on plasma? Look it up. Wow, look at everything I got going on right now. Uh, we can use a... No, not that. Um, no, not that. Oh, come on. Let's use a stasis. I, If I remember right, there was a hotkey for the stasis, but I don't remember what it was. We'll just go this way so I don't accidentally use something I shouldn't. Okay, and then it doesn't look like, I mean, yeah, I, I definitely want to pick this up. It's the one I got the least amount of ammo for. Uh, definitely want a slot for that. Okay, well, we blew the battery. Looked like there's one on this side, though. Okay. Should I try to open this, or should I try to put that in that door over there first? That says elevator to upper deck. Cargo room. Okay, let's check the cargo room first. I don't think I want to change levels yet. Oh. Well, then again. Not exactly got a lot of choice here, do we? <laughs> Can I launch it in there from here? Okay, I, I put that in there and then stepped back because I was worried some creature was going to come out. Man, I sure hope I remember to put a, a flickering light warning thing. There, there's a lot of that going on here. Clark, I need to speak with you. My name is Terrence Kine. Ah. Dr. Kine. Listen to me. There isn't much time. If you really can repair the shuttle, 
there is a better use for it than just running away. You must understand, the forces at work here are greater than you can imagine. If you leave now, you condemn all humanity. The planet will never stop, never rest unless the marker is returned. Don't you see? The church is wrong. This is all a trap. I've seen it. Please, you must help me. Okay, so he's saying we got to put it back or this problem's going to spread. Is that what he's saying? Who was that? That was a Hammond, was it? Oh, what? Can I help him in some way? I don't think there's any way I can... Oh, poor guy. Maybe there's a way I can help him from the other side. That sounded different. I'll take that. And that. You know what? I'm going to switch back to this. In case some more speedsters come. The poor guy up there. I wish I could help him. I thought about using this to see if I could, like push him or push the stuff, but I'm worried I'm actually going to kill him by doing that, so I'm going to wait a minute still. Oh, not you. Oh! Oh, crap. I'm locked in. Oh! Quick, switch! Did I get all the little creepy parts? Oh. What's that say? Introduce our enemies to your friend. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going back to this. I was trying to push that tall guy into that. I think I did get him into it partially. That's probably why he died as quick as he did. Oh, look at that. They got power nodes here, too. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to finish exploring this little area here first. Uh. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> Those guys are really fun to blow up. Shooting range score, level one. What? You can actually use that? Okay, this is, this is Commander Cadigan. We have hostiles on board. This is not a drill. Hostiles are alien. Repeat, alien and extremely dangerous. All personnel have weapons ready and fire at will. I'm still kind of shocked at the fact they had weapons and all this kind of stuff and they got overrun by a single single creature that from what I understand can't even reproduce I, I don't know how they could have gotten gotten even more of them on here before they wrecked okay let's see it I'm assuming I don't shoot blue I got infinite ammo at the moment I like that Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Oh, almost took you out. Gotcha. Uh. Did I get anything for that? Hey! <laughs> That's fun. I kind of wish that was something that they had like early in the game. I feel like that's something I would have appreciated a whole lot more. But then again, they were still trying to set up how scary everything was. Probably would take a little bit of the wind out of the sails suddenly have, hey, here's a little shooting range for you. Plus, I guess this is a place that was set up for fighting and battling, whereas the rig that we're on is 
more for engineer kind of stuff. So I guess that makes more sense. Mm, do I have anything that I can do with a single node? I wonder if I should work on trying to get more hit points. I got a feeling that's what I should work towards, but I'm just going to hang on to this single one for a moment. Maybe we'll come across something that needs a power node. And I'm not going to be happy if I've gotten rid of the only one that I got. Uh, I noticed that it said level one. Is there a way to... No, I don't see anything there offering level two. Okay. Let's switch back to this. Okay, some more big boys come this way. Or speedy boys, I mean. Two infirmary. I don't know. Do I want to go into another infirmary? Dude! What is that? He just pulled his own leg off? I mean, those don't exactly just snap off very easily. Okay, well, something's gonna need stasis here in a minute. I'm sure of it. They got a big old station. Oh, no. Oh, what? Oh! Oh, God! Oh, it scared the crap out of me. I couldn't even see that. I was so distracted by the lasers. Oh, man. Okay, it goes to the right, swings all the way around. Middle, right, swings all the way around. It's still pretty quick. Oh, look at that. I think it ran into it. <laughs> ah! That's actually pretty fun. Okay, let's go ahead and try that again. Oh, I didn't do it soon enough. Okay, I can pick you up. Oh, it's a schematic. Large med packs. Yeah, that would probably be good to get. Uh, let's see, what are you? Ammo, all right. Anything else I can beam over to myself? That is crazy. Okay, it should spin all the way around. Let's get across there. There we are. I should be safe on this side of the... Well, at least from the lasers. <laughs> Maybe not if something else comes out here to attack me. Did you drop anything of use? I'll have to remember to come back for that schematic. Oh, I'm going to be so mad, though. this It's not like the Ishimura. I might actually leave this ship and not come back. Oh, and I totally missed opening that thing right there. Okay, well, my health is full. What do I drop? The only thing I can think of to drop that I, I might be okay with are maybe the rounds or a medium med kit. Let's go with the medium med kit. I could always maybe come back whoop, and uh, find that later if by some chance I come back through here. Okay, uh, come here. I do need to find a store though. My inventory is full. Oh, hello. Oop. Oh, I didn't know you could shoot the limb, like, just the bomb part off. Oh! Oh, gosh. <laughs> My family's asleep in the other room. They've probably heard me screaming like, what is he doing? <laughs> I've tried to explain to them. I'm playing a creepy game. Oh, okay. 
That wasn't too bad. Man, I'm I'm getting full on all this stuff. Pick you up. Pick you up. I'm bringing you to me. That's as much as I can carry of that now. Alright, so that's where we came in. Was there an opening down that way? Yeah, it looks like there might be. We're just saying I need to go. Yeah, it's saying I need to go that way. Okay, well, we're definitely past that one hour mark now. Pretty pretty well. So let's save. Let's get this done. Okay, and that's where we're going to call it on this episode. My goodness. <laughs> this ship just crashed right... In, what was it? The Valor, I think it was called. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Fighting that gigantic thing with the cannon that came out and then running right into this colliding into our ship. That was kind of cool. It was like two big moments happening like in the same window of time. That was pretty cool. Uh, I haven't seen anything else that Nicole... I mean, we had a quick little flashback of his recording playing again when we first got exploded. Uh, we had made contact with Hammond again, so we kind of know what's going on with him, but he's still kind of coughing stuff. He might not be in the best of shape, but uh, we might catch up to him in this ship before we get out of here. It almost sounds like we might. I guess we'll find out maybe on the next episode. Until then, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on the next one.